I didn't mean to get all emotional on y'all, but that's the space that I'm in right now. Just truly embracing my Hello, my name is Farrah Lawal Harris. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and welcome to my first YouTube video. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for clicking on the video. I just wanted to talk about why I'm putting myself out there in the year 2022. I've been showing up a lot differently than I normally do, especially in the online space. I mean, the fact that I'm even starting this channel is huge for me as somebody who's been an enormously private person for the majority of my life. and. I'm making a decision to be less private and to share my journey with others in hopes to build community and just to connect and see what's possible for myself as far as how my stories can impact other people in various mediums. So to introduce myself to you all, as I mentioned, my name is Farah Lawal Harris. I am a first generation Nigerian. I am creative in all regards. I find creativity in all aspects of my life. My day job is in theater, I, pr I produce theater. I'm also a playwright, a poet. I just love expressing myself creatively. I love style, I love fashion, I love houseplants and gardening. I have varied interests that I really want to share with others online and I've been doing so through my Instagram in the past few months and it's been really enriching and exciting for me to put myself out there and to meet new friends in this space. Nice. Didn't think that was possible for someone like me who was extremely private, but it's actually benefited me a lot. So now for the reason for the video. I just wanted to share five reasons. That's 10. Let's try again. I just wanted to share five reasons why I'm putting myself out there in the year 2022. And hopefully at least one of those reasons inspires you to put yourself out there as well. The first reason is that I am tired of hiding. I'm somebody who is reasonably successful in my industry in theater in Washington, DC. And I've been able to hide behind that success, which sounds strange, I'm quite visible, but my work is visible. I myself as an individual was not a visible person. A lot of people do not know me personally. And I used to pride myself on that until I realized that when I need people in my life, whether I'm going through something or just feel lonely, I don't have that many people to call. The people who know me are my sister, my family members, my best friend from college, a couple friends that I met over the years, but that's it. And I wanted more people to have access to my personality and to be able to exchange with other people in that way. And through hiding, hiding behind the veil of privacy and behind the veil of perfectionism, I was finding that it led to so much loneliness in dark times for me. And in that experience that we all live through that I'm not supposed to say the name of on YouTube, but it starts with a P, um, <laughs> I recognized that loneliness is real and it's important to have connection with others and to foster those connections with others. So, that's why I'm here right now. And the second reason is that I'm living for me now. I have spent the majority of my life living for others, living for my parents. I am Nigerian. And if you're Nigerian, you know what I'm talking about as far as wanting to fulfill their goals and their expectations. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to please our family members and to please our parents. But I was putting their wants and desires above my own for a long time. And so I started pursuing my creative pursuits and then living for my husband and living for my child as a mom. I only have one child, but that transitioned my focus in life so much where I was not a priority anymore. And I think that's normal and that's probably how it was supposed to be. But I went about three years without realizing, oh, I haven't bought a pair of shoes for myself or outfits or bras that fit, you know, like just things like that. And I deserve to live for myself and I deserve to do the things that bring me joy. And that's been my focus this year, doing the things that bring joy to me and sharing that with others. The third reason is that I need people. <laughs> As I mentioned before, 
community is part of life we cannot grow alone and one thing that i try to live my life by is not falling into white middle class dominant culture and i'll put something on the screen to let y'all know what i'm talking about And one of the aspects of white middle class dominant culture that I'm talking about is individualism. The idea that we can do everything on our own, that we don't need people, that we can just pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. And y'all, that's false. So for me, in needing people, that means that I actually have feedback on how I'm doing in life. I have accountability. I have resources and I'm able to give of myself and receive in the same way. That's crucial. Not just friends, but community based on different ident identities, whether it be hobbies or sexuality or religious beliefs, whatever, it's important to not be by ourselves. The fourth reason is that I am exploring my potential. As I mentioned, I have varied interests and I'm exploring how those interests impact the world when I put them out there how they impact the people in my life. And I think that I am destined for a life that's greater than the one I'm living. Ain't nothing wrong with the life I'm living. I love my life. However, I see more and I just don't know what that more is, but I, I need to find out what that is for me. And in exploring my potential and allowing myself to put that journey out there, I think I allow others to watch and it allows me to connect with other people who have similar interests and who might be able to help me along the way. And the fifth reason I'm putting myself out there is that life is too short. Life is short, y'all. Like the amount of people in the past three years I know who have died. <laughs> mm. And people spanning age range, you know, people who are younger than me my age, older than me, for varied reasons, whether it be the big P that we're not supposed to say, or cancer, or suicide. Like there have been so many deaths that I've witnessed in the past few years that have reminded me that nothing is guaranteed. No day is guaranteed. No experience is guaranteed. Our loved ones being there is not guaranteed. And I need to honor that and live this life as if I don't have guaranteed days. And part of that is sharing with others and not being so private. So I didn't mean to get all emotional on y'all, but that's the space that I'm in right now. Just truly embracing myself, embracing my personality and sharing that with others and not trying to control the result. I don't know how people are going to respond to me. People, it's been interesting thus far, but it's worth the risk to me. Life is worth, worth the risk. Putting myself out there is worth the risk. So I hope that you'll join me on this journey. If you saw anything that clicked with you or resonated, please put a comment below just so I know. If you feel so compelled, I ask you to subscribe, to like the video, share it, and I look forward to checking back in with you all next week. Take care.